So let's start with Florence tonight and kind of tear down what's going on with it. Unfortunately, there's no good news in the models for the southeast U.S. Here's the latest advisory. It's a tropical storm right now with winds at 65 miles an hour moving to the west at 8. It's latitude there, 24.8. It's right almost on that line, and you know that line goes just south of Miami. So it would have to go literally due west, and we know hurricanes and tropical storms don't do that. It would have to go due west to hit us here, and that's not going to happen. Here is what is going to happen. It's going to move west west for a little while, but then begin to turn more to the northwest. And here we are now next week. This is the Wednesday 2 p.m. time frame and in pretty good agreement. All the models there. There's the National Hurricane Center's comb. We're going to add if you watched Irma during Irma coverage last year, we talked about the European model and the US's GFS model. Both these models have been pretty far apart much of this week, but now they've come into much better agreement, meaning that our confidence that this solution is going to work out it's growing quite a bit. So this is the Wednesday 2 p.m. time frame. This is the last forecast point from the National Hurricane Center. But if we go forward into time, because the models go out into time, this is the Thursday evening time frame here, and still the European and the GFS pretty close. And it's reasonable to assume at this point, this is the area of concern for Florence here and likely to be a strong hurricane. So somewhere in the southeast coast to the mid Atlantic, it's possible it could shift a little farther to the northeast. It's not as likely it'll shift much farther to the south maybe towards the Georgia coast, but certainly something we will be watching very closely. The newest depression, Tropical Depression 9, formed this afternoon. It is stationary right now, but forecast to begin moving. Eventually, it will become a tropical storm. Does it become a tropical storm before Tropical Depression 8's tropical storm? It's either going to be Helene or Isaac. We just don't know yet. But as you can see, it potentially will threaten the eastern islands of the Caribbean. In fact, the computer models for Tropical Depression 9, all the reliable models do bring it into the Caribbean. They bring it in not as a very strong system because uh, the conditions down here are rather hostile, but certainly something for the folks to watch. Our Broward camera this afternoon showing it looking a little bit unsettled out there. 83 in Miami, 84, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 85 in Key West. Seven on the stickiness scale and a little bit of rain here or there. Feels like temperatures upper 80s to low 90s. The radar, it's fairly active this afternoon with some scattered showers and even a few little thunderstorms around and as we go through the weekend. This is going to be the pattern, but mainly in the afternoon hours, I think. I think we're going to see morning sunshine. So some spotty storms, mild and muggy time to low near 78 tomorrow. Steamy sun, high temperatures back into the low 90s and storms develop and a few downpours are possible. For boaters, winds southwest early becoming south to southeast with the sea breeze, one to two foot seas, a light chop on the bays and through the weekend into next week. Pretty warm and some spotty storms around through the weekend next week. Maybe a little better chance for storms. Back to you.